Hi guys, I'm showing you one stuffed naan. So this was from leftover um, dough that I had. I just made a small round like I would make for a paratha. Filled it with the broccoli filling. I applied the plain flour so that I could easily um, roll it without it sticking at the bottom. Now I've given it a bit of a naan shape which is longish. I'm just pressing all the edges so that it is nice and thin rather than thick. Now all we need to do is my pan is getting nicely warm. So I'm just going to take this and nicely wash it so that it can get as much water as possible for it to stick nicely into the pan. Don't worry about there's never too much water but again you don't want to dunk it into the water. You just want to ensure the dry flour is taken off and then we have applied enough water. Now we are ready. I'm just going to slap it on the pan. And after slapping it on the pan, just with the same wet hand, just give it a little bit of pressing. Now all we need to wait for it is to cook a little bit and then we will finish it off on the fire. Don't worry about it opening up a little bit, just it's okay, if it falls off a little bit doesn't matter. Now you can see that the dough is looking slightly cooked from the bottom. We don't have to wait for too long for it to cook from below. You can just see all over here. There's a bit of wetness there which is fine. But in general, it's looking like it's cooked nicely from below. Now is cooking it off on the fire. You would see that I have a little stand which is really handy. Which then helps me flip and then... I can rest my pan on that, one side of the pan, while it's getting charred. Even if I leave it like that, I don't have anything to worry because the pan is held by the stand on top of the gas. So keep ensuring you're looking around that it's not going to burn off. Keep checking just to ensure it's nicely cooked. Let's have a look. It's looking nice. Just maybe a little more bit of charring and then we are done. Actually having that stand really helps because you can then rest your pan instead of holding it for too long. Here it is. It's looking nice. I'm going to just finish it off with a bit of olive oil which has some nigella seeds and garlic and coriander. See from where it opened up, nothing happened. It just got nicely charred. I'm done. Now let me show you how it looks at the back. See, it comes off easily. There you go. It looks amazing. Nicely cooked.
there you go your stuffed broccoli naan enjoy guys